but then after that I, I tutored for two hours from four to six online and that was that was good i was a little bit rusty tutoring honestly i was tutoring the psat and i felt like a little bit stupid on some of the questions for math but once i got back into the swing of things it was fine um and then later on i was just hanging out at the house i decided i needed to, to get some ingredients for dinner so i went to the grocery store around the corner picked up some ground beef and i made some tacos and i also picked up some garlic bread and i made some fresh garlic bread because they sell pre-made garlic bread but what i do with mine is uh I chop up some fresh garlic and then put some cheese on top of it, and so I make my own garlic cheesy bread. Um, and I snacked on that while the tacos were cooking. The tacos were very good. Yeah. So overall, it was a pretty good day. Not too eventful, but, but good, for sure. Okay, guys. I, I honestly... I. I can't even believe that it's going to happen, but I'm playing Skull against a deck that can't destroy it. I know. I know you guys are like, what? I've never seen that happen on your stream before, and you would be right. You would be right. This may be the first ever time that I'm going to get Skull off without getting weapon destruction. But Jade Druid simply cannot run weapon destruction. They can't do it. Ooze? No, they can't run Ooze. They run they run uh, Oak and Vargoth package. I know it's I know it's sick, chat. I know it's hard to watch. Look away if you're uneasy. I was really inclined to do the... Oh, Jesus. That's a bad burn. So he's gonna he's gonna uh uh play the seeds, presumably. Yeah, that's that's fine. So we actually pull a guy and then draw, which is the cool thing about how skull works. Uh so we don't need these guys in the, the Gul'dan pool, we just don't need it, so we're gonna evolve it into a ten drop. And an 8 eight's a bit better, in my opinion. Job done. Is this an NA account? Uh, yes, it is. I'm gonna need some paracetamol after that. We don't call it that over here. I think we just call it. We call it by the by the brand name in the states. I'm forgetting what the brand name is for, for that one. Paracetamol. What is that? I think we call that Advil. So, someone in chat can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe we call that Advil. I keep playing these guys, and I just know that it's going to get spreading plagued, but I don't know. I don't know. Defile it down, whatever, some shit like that. 
My opponent has a strange card back. Where does it come from? Um, I don't know. I don't know. He might show up in chat at some point tonight, though. Memnarch is a regular here, so you guys can ask him. You guys can ask him if he comes by what his card back is and how he got it. Eggs counter seeds because the min minions summon before treants. Uh, I mean, kinda. We're still we're still weak to to um, spreading plague here, though. Uh, so I think that we can defile down a spreading plague. So I'm I'm fine playing the kobold. Uh, yeah. We might have to defile twice. We might have to defile twice, but I think that's fine. I mean, who cares if I have to? Because we've got one, two, three, but we don't have a four. So many possibilities. Okay, uh, that's pretty good. Chat, that's decent. So, kind of hoping he plays the other Spreading Plague here. No, he's playing Mojo Master? I literally, like, don't need any cards out of my deck. The rest of the cards don't do anything. Oh, my longhouse. Well, that game was disgusting, chat. Tap into power overwhelming might have been lethal. Yeah, I mean, I think that's that's true, but we don't need to tap to drag out the game. There's nothing he can play that saves him, you know. Both seeds are gone. Think about it, both seeds are gone, so by the time I just get 10 mana and play Gul'dan, I win again. Uh, Taldoran we always keep, because it's just insane. Um, yeah, it's just good against everything. I, I I dicked his ass with Mech Hand Buff Paladin a couple times, so it's possible he might have switched um, to that. Yeah, I beat him so bad he swapped, he swapped to the deck I was playing. 
That's kind of funny. Never seen Zihi in a Druid deck? Yeah, I've never seen it either. Didn't work out there. Zihi is better reserved for those aggressive decks that, like, need to lock their opponent out of playing something expensive to prevent. Like, it's good in, like, even lock, for instance, because you can play a bunch of giants Zihi and then your opponent can't deal with the giants usually. But... Ten fifteen, by the way. So a lot of people would plague there. I'm not going to plague because I want him to use his remaining cards. Right? If that's creating a 15-20, that's fine. Not going to tap, because that guy didn't get buffed, so... Or this... It's possibly he's got a Divine Favor in hand. And we've got everything we need with... We could even cube and then faceless, or we could just faceless straight up if we feel like we need to. The victory is yours. I found the Mali Warlock list. Do I want to see it? I already put it in my... In a recent YouTube video. You could have faceless and traded the Void Lord to get a 15-20 and a 3-9 with Taunt. Yeah, is that better though? Is that better? Like having a 15-20 but he has a 15-20 on board? Because if you think about it, the 15-20s won't be able to trade into each other. Because he'll keep buffing that guy so he has high health or like divine shield or something like that. So my guy won't be able to kill him. And even if my guy would kill him, it's just like letting him get through the Void Lord. For, yeah, I don't know. That's a good point. Like, it's important to consider something like that. But I don't know that it would have been better. Uh, so White Delight is playing Quest Reno Shaman. So against them, I feel like Defile is good, but I'm not sure 100%. It would have been flashy though. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's hilarious to face those giant dudes. No doubt about that. Okay, so he's playing even now. Still happy we kept Defile. Um, Defile can be a little bit tough with Even Shaman if they don't roll the 1-1 one -one totem. Yeah, that'll do it. Then next turn we can coin Void Caller. We don't want to invite ourselves into Devolve too hard, but... At some point, it just happens. I'm gonna play this. If he devolves, it just means that he can't play a power 4-drop. So, that's still fine. We'll see what he has here.
Is it true I got Legend with Mechathune Lock? It is absolutely true, and you can see it in my most recent YouTube video. Yeah. Nice cat, pal. Thank you. I'm, I'm a big fan of him myself. Well, I mean, I guess I would say I'm a moderate fan of my cat. He's, he's all right, you know. I can tolerate him. Mechathune Lock is amazing. Dude, I don't know what it is, but you guys love Mechathune Lock. I posted every Mechathune Lock video I've posted has, has done like huge numbers on YouTube. Like my Mech, my budget Mechathune Lock was huge. Today's like Kidding Legend with Mechathune was huge. Um, the number one deck you need to learn in 2020, that, that one was huge. Though that one had a sick title. So I can't, I can't be too surprised at its success. Jesus. Delightful. I legit can't take that much damage. I was gonna cube it, but I can't. Because if I get multiple copies and I'm taking damage from each one, that shit's not gonna fly. My cat is here with me too. Well, tell, tell him I said hi. What spell did he play last turn? Devolve? Come on. Okay, so we're creating a board of tokens that's really difficult for him to deal with. I mean, the Flappy Bird is solid. If he has to devolve this, it's a huge win for us because obviously he wants to be devolving our demons. Did you hear the reveal about the amazing Reno's hero power? Uh, yeah, I saw that. I saw the hero power. Are people? What do you guys think of that hero power? I think it's I think it's fine, right? I look at it and I'm like, yeah, that's good. Like it's a hero it's a hero power that has a generally good, sometimes nuts, sometimes slightly bad effect that you never have to click. It's probably a meme, but people will have to play with it to see exactly how good it is. I think people might be surprised that it makes it into some standard mage lists, but I also cannot properly assess the power level of standard, so I'm not the right person to ask. I think that I'll use Reno Hero as board clear, then play Frostlich Jaina. Uh, I would not play that card in Wild, but if you're gonna do it, if you're gonna play that card in wild, I, I guess that's how you would do it. So that's a 3-4, four, a 4-4, four, four, and two Zilliacs. Yeah, that's really difficult for him to deal with. And also consider all the bursts that we can play and then follow up with Doomguard. It's probably lethal here. Might have been close to lethal last turn. Like, it definitely wasn't, because 14... It's like not quite enough, but if anything sticks here and we gotta go through, 
solid. Dude, everybody's playing this card. I don't think it's that good. I mean, it's not wanting anybody anything yet. 